<laughs> Welcome back to the Blunt Bob Experience. I am Blunt Bob, the man who eats fire and poops razor blades. Today I have a very special guest, a good friend of mine, someone else who understands what it's like to um, be in pain for people's entertainment, uh, podcaster, actor, wrestler, and uh, comedian Corey Castle. Hello. <laughs> now, I was recently, if uh, none of you have checked it out, I was on Evolving with Corey Castle, Corey's podcast, as you can see the, you know, logo and everything for it behind him. Um, so I thought it's about time to have him on my show. So welcome to my world, Corey. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's this is a crazy world we're living in, all, all of us. Yeah, well... So. Uh, this is our quarantine edition, as you can see, since we're not together in the same room. And hopefully you can see me enough to see the pure agony I'm about to go through, because this is Crispy Questions, the only internet talk show where the interviewer is a masochist. Now, the last... <laughs> The last time when I was on your podcast, we talked for two hours and 40 minutes. Now, this show, we're, by the time we start, we're already wrapping it up because I'm going to be in bad pain. So, go easy on me. I have All right. five questions written, and then what I like to do is I like to ask five questions that I already have prepared, and then have questions off the top of my mind when I'm, like, you know, scrambled to see how bad they are. All right, uh, so I guess there's nothing we could do. But get started. So, here's... We have a poor connection, of course. With our luck, we're going to lose it. But, um... So... I don't... 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 Don't rope me in with that. <laughs> with luck. Don't rope me in with that. I hate when people do that. Don't do that. Well, we've, we haven't had good luck with your technology. Luck is, your luck is what you make it. I don't think luck is a thing. I think you, you just yeah. got to be careful about your wording. Yeah. I think a lot of people fall victim to the... Oh, just my luck. I've fallen into this. Uh... Oh, wow. it's, you know, it's like, oh, I've been, I've been oppressed by luck. <laughs> you wind up be becoming a victim to, to superstition. So, on the show, the Blood Bob Experience, you are the star because you are the guest, but there's one other star, and that is the hot sauces. So, we're going to go through them real quick. So, first up, we have uh, Gringo Bandito. Which I think clocks in at about 100,000 Scovilles. Uh, I forgot to look this one up before we filmed. But it's actually created by Dexter Holland. Um, I hope I'm right about this. Because I know it's created by someone in the band Tool. Uh, this is their super hot sauce. The hottest one they make. It's the only one I've had. Um, and then we have Seven... Um, by Pepper Palace, who I bought through directly. Now, I couldn't find the Scovilles on this one, but the pepper itself is about 2 million, I believe, so this should clock in about a million Scovilles. Um, so then we have Spontaneous Combustion, which is about 500,000 Scovilles, and it is mostly extract. Um, and I don't know if you know, extracts burn so much more than natural sauces. I don't know anything <laughs> Um, just so you know, to my roommate the cook, and he's sitting, he's standing next to me, and he's going, "Holy sh dude, holy sh dude. <laughs> All right, and then we have. No joke, dude. Crystallized capsaicin is rough, man. Yeah, and and wait till you get to the last one. Uh, Tropical Pepper Company's Ghost Pepper Sauce. Uh, this I believe is five hundred thousand Scovilles. Um, as far as the ghost pepper sauce, it's kind of smooth. It's not too overwhelming. And then, of course, my nemesis, Dave's pepper. Ghost Pepper, which clocks in at 650,000 Scovilles, which is so much extract. And this honestly burns more than the other ones. Uh, and this is the only sauce that is in every single episode because it kicks my ass. So. Let's start wrapping it up. Yeah. <laughs> start wrapping it up. All right, so going for the first chip. How do you how do you do this in the early day and then like have other things to do in the day? I usually don't like to do it in the early day because uh, in about an hour I will be in my bed in the fetal position and I still have to do grocery shopping, so I'll probably be in the supermarket in the fetal position. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start off with, um, yes. Yes. 
right. So let's start off with the seven pot. Um, I haven't had this one in a while. It's a good sauce. I like Pepper Palace. A lot of people have trash to talk about them, but they make good sauces, and that's all I care about. So do you, do you have five questions, and you ask each time you're you're uh, drinking another hot sauce? No, that's how we started doing it, and what it turned out to be is I'm just going to be doing it. I'm going to go straight through with the hot sauce. So okay. I'm going to mix it up. I'm not going to go in order. I'm just going to, like, you know, let my creative juices decide. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to keep going. The whole time you're talking, I'm going to be eating. Flow with the go. All right, so. You put it on a potato chip. Ooh, shit. That's heavy. One million Scovilles. Keep in mind a jalapeno is 5,000. Okay. Why do I do this to myself? Chips are so stale. All right, so, wow, already. So, There's stale, so they're harder to chew. So, wrestling, acting, comedy, podcast. How did that all happen in the order of events? Um, oh, well, God. I uh, I think that... That's not good off the bat. Wrestling came first. <sighs> wrestling came first, um, and then... <laughs> and uh, I always my dream, my two major dreams ever were to to be a wrestler and to do stand up comedy. And uh, I did. I just started doing open mics, and uh, I found that comedy's more. It's like I get to I get to get the crowd reactions without getting without having to take my clothes off or get hit. So. I like that more. So, what is your most memorable moments in all the things you've done? Um, <sighs> oh, God, what's next? Gringo. The most memorable moment, I had a... In my wrestling career, I had a... a I had a, a steel cage ladder match. Oh, that's a lot. So I had a, a ladder match inside of a steel cage. Uh, like 2014 or 15. And, uh... Yeah, because you was, did a steel cage. It's awesome. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was to, like, unify two titles. So I was the first person to hold both those titles at the same time. And unify them. What were the titles? That was pretty memorable. Excuse me? What were the titles? It was the, the DCW International Heavyweight Championship and the 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 uh, DCW Championship. Um, how did Evolving with Corey Castle begin? It hurts to talk. So, uh, I, 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 I've been doing this wrestling podcast for about five years. Um, well, it just hit five years. We just had our five-year anniversary. But uh, it's called Rassle Rock. It's a weekly show I do with uh, my best friend Rick, Rick Connor. He has a really great YouTube channel where he posts a lot of uh, wrestling videos and stuff. I think you, you should start following him. Um, uh, I do this podcast called Rassle Rock, and uh, Rick Connor, uh, Matt Flowers, and Mark Paulbacher. We, we, uh, I don't want to do this. We get an hour. We just have one hour for the show, and uh, I just always, at the end of the hour, I was always like, ah, oh, I have the more to say, and want to talk about more than just wrestling, so I started evolving with Corey Castle in that sort of vein. Which wrestler is your biggest influence? Chris Jericho. <sighs> Chris Jericho. He's a... Pro wrestler, podcaster, yeah, um, actor. Uh, he's got a rock band. I've always wanted to be a rock star, but I mean, I don't have any musical abilities at all. Jesus, you stole my line because I always say I became a comedian because I always wanted to be a rock star, but never had any musical talent. Right. Well, I've been saying that my whole entire life. All right, we're on the ghost pepper. <sighs> all right. So you're vet node. 
you know, from the people that know you, people that will listen to your podcast, of uh, being a very positive person with a positive attitude, how do you keep that going? Uh, gratitude, man. Most mostly just gratitude. It's it's mostly like uh, I've I'm, I've been so grateful for all the things that I've been able to accomplish and all the the people who have been around for me and the, the experiences that I've been able to have and continue to have. I think that that's mostly how I keep my positivity, and it and it comes a lot with uh, compassion as well. I mean, it's uh, you can't. You can't pretend like you know everything when you only know what you have the relativity to know. What could we expect to see of Corey Castle in the near future? Um, I'd say probably... Probably... Um, more in the comedy acting oh, no. side. That's, That's probably much. where I want to go. But I mean, you know, once once this uh, quarantine ends and we're all able to go outside in the sunlight and stuff, I I think we're I think let's expect that. Expect to see me outside in the sunlight, and uh, and in that maybe I can do some comedy acting and some some more. Well, I've done a few things. I want to do some more things that are like more major parts in comedy. And uh, doing some more stand-up out in in the uh, and like going on tours and things like that. That's what I think where my my heart is. I want to just get really good at that. I actually want to get great at stand-up. <coughs> my passion, my desire. So, would you say wrestling is that chapter starting to come to a close? Yes, I would for sure say that. I mean. I started wrestling. I started wrestling when I was a kid, and I'm I'm a man now. So I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of time that's gone by, and wrestling's helped me immensely. But um, I I still want to have my you know I still want to have my my functioning brain, and uh, my girlfriend my girlfriend is worried about my CTE coming out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap this up. <sighs> yeah, yeah, we for sure have to wrap it up. I see you're crying. I am crying. Um, so, is there anything else you'd like the Blunt Bob universe to know? Um, I think that they know already that you're a lunatic and uh, that... I meant about you. About me. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm always open to... To making new friends and chatting with new people, and he is. you know, if you want to get if you want to get in touch with me, if you feel like you got some on your mind that you want to talk about, judgment free conversation, I'm always here. Look look me up somehow. Follow me on Instagram at Corey Castle. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Corey Castle. Same thing, C O R Y K A S T L E. And uh, you know, I'm gonna uh, every Monday. If you subscribe to my podcast, you'll get a new episode of Evolving with Corey Castle. Sometimes they. Sometimes they go an hour. Sometimes they go three or four hours. It's, yeah. uh, it's all depending. But go through go through the the rolodex of pre- past episodes, archived episodes. I have like a hundred and seventy, hundred and seventy two episodes now. So go check them out on uh, iTunes and Spotify, wherever you find your quality podcasts that you enjoy. Yeah, check out Corey. On all the stuff he just mentioned. And thank you to Corey for coming on. And we will see you guys later. Hopefully outside. All right. Yeah. Be safe. Have fun. Oh, God. My eyes are burning.